Well, we are about a month after we started preparing to put the foundation in for our custom build. Guys, my name is Rick and this is the Mo Outdoor Vibe channel and you have tuned in to the build series. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you like this video after you watch it and you learn something, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you do get notified every time we do put out new content here on the Mo Outdoor Vibe channel. So as I said, we are hitting a critical point. We've got the Caterpillar 963 out here, which means we're probably gonna start backfilling against this foundation, uh, which was just had the forms pulled off about uh, a little over a week ago. What I want to do today is walk you through one of the very, very critical pieces of this process before they backfill, and that is how you waterproof these foundations. So here in Missouri, we have full basements, and you need to waterproof those so you don't get water in your basement because we often do like to finish those basements, and we will have some finish on this one as well. Let's check out what the waterproof contractor has done so far, and I'll walk you through and talk you through everything that has to be done to waterproof this. And most people don't even see this or don't know that this even happens because they move in their house, they never see this because it's all underground. So the first thing you'll notice here, and then most people don't see this when they have their house, is there's this black membrane. It kind of looks like tar that you see going all the way around. And well, it stops over there, and I'll tell you why it does. But I'm standing in the middle of one of the garages on this build, and you don't really need to waterproof the garage because it's somewhat of a stem wall as you can see over here shorter wall you don't have to worry about water as much but we're really worried about not getting any water in that part of the basement over there they treat these walls with this membrane the waterproof contractor and they go all the way down to the bottom and then come over the footings with that membrane that basically seals up the foundation between the basement wall and those footings so that you don't get any water coming in through that seam or that gap between those if there is any gap it should be pretty tight but there's also something on the inside that i'm going to show you that will help with that as well you also notice we have this green pipe with these elbows 90 degree elbows going all the way around and you'll find those everywhere that we have that membrane i'm over on the other side where we can get a little bit closer and show you what this pipe is all about so this is a basically a sewer pipe a jet stream um pipe and what it has is i don't know if you can see it right down here it's perforated on both sides there's holes down there so essentially what would happen is if you get water that comes up to that level, the water will go into those holes, will fill up this pipe, and the pipe is laid such that that water will flow down. And essentially what that does, that will stay in that trough in between those holes on both sides of that, and then it will come around to this side. You can see down here, we have an elbow. So that pipe goes all the way around the house. It's gonna come around here, you can see in the foundation here, they put a sleeve. And in that sleeve, on the other side of that sleeve, right here, which it's not here yet, there will be a sump pit here. And that pit, should there get any water in this basement or on that drain tile, around there will flow into that pit. And then we will have a pump on that, which will pump the water out of the basement pit that should, should any water get in there. Same thing, they haven't quite finished, but this drain tile essentially runs all the way around the house. You can see we have more coming in here. And you may wonder why is it coming inside here? Well, this is essentially where the back porch will be. So that's not, we're not worried about water, but we are worried about water, not on the outside here, but on the inside here between where the porch 
and the foundation will be. And again, this will all be filled, and we'll talk a little bit about that here in a minute. But essentially that pipe runs all the way around the house, and should there be any water that accumulates, which is probably pretty unlikely because we've put so much rock around here, um, it will accumulate in there, and again, it will flow to that area where we have the sump pump. So the other thing that, not sure if it'll show up here in the camera, but up on the foundation itself, this area has been treated with a material that will not allow moisture to soak into that concrete because concrete will soak up moisture. So that is painted all the way around the top of this foundation where the sill plates will go on there so that that is somewhat waterproof. And then you'll have your uh, foam sill plate seal that will go down, then your sill, and that will be bolted down to keep that water from coming in there. And the foundation here, we're inside the basement. You can see all the forms are off. They're essentially ready once they get this all backfilled to start framing. But here is another critical piece that is been, has been installed by our waterproof contractor and it's this little membrane here. So this basically keeps that corner between this wall and the footer safe from water penetration. And what will happen is this will be raised up, there'll be some more rock brought in here, and then we'll have basically four inches of concrete pad that will be poured and that will come up over this footer and go over the top of this and we'll go over the top of this so essentially that is completely sealed from the inside and then we also have those drain tiles or drain pipes going all the way around the house to funnel all the water over to that corner near where the walkout of the basement will be so that is what happens and how your house gets waterproofed. If your contractor hasn't spoken to you about that and you're building a home, make sure you ask that question because this is a key to keeping that basement dry. And if you skip that step, uh, you could be really sorry in the long run. It doesn't cost that much. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much it's costing, but in the grand scheme of the build process, it's a very minimal cost and it can save you some big money down the line. So guys, if you like this video, again, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and I wanna leave you with this thought. Life is short, get out and enjoy it, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.